Wayne Bennett may have warned Newcastle fans there's no quick fix, but his players believe a win against the Raiders will kickstart their season. Today, the Knights were still coming to terms with the one that got away in Brisbane. Down 24-0 midway through the first half, the Knights got within two of Brisbane early in the second, only to see the game slip away. It's pretty draining, um, especially coming off the back of a couple of losses and we've definitely got to start to get some wins together. Newcastle's trademark defence from the early rounds simply went missing. They just come out on another level and you know, if you have a look at all them tries, you can stop them. You know, I had a look at the game last night and they were, they were tries that we could stop. Despite some fans questioning their commitment, the players feel their season is about to turn the corner. We showed we can compete with the best and then we just showed another side to our um, game as well where we just let a few soft tries in. The Knights believe the result could have been different if a few close calls went their way. The offside thing where, you know, I scored just before half-time, that, that's 24 all at half-time going in there and it's, uh, uh, everyone's full of confidence and uh, bouncing around. So uh, it wasn't a B. Um, you know, we've got to dust ourselves off because we've got a big game this week before the bye. Another solid performance by Willie Mason was one of the positives. Here he goes again, big Willie! Mason says he'd love to extend his stay in Newcastle, but for now, this season is the priority. I'm not even looking at that at the moment. I'm just looking at getting the Knights back on track and getting us some wins. Fellow forward Adam Cuthbertson is simply hoping for more game time. Didn't get much time out there, but when I did, I, I suppose I did well. And just be nice to um, play a bit, bit longer and be a bit more involved, I suppose. Mitchell Hughes, NBN News. There were mixed fortunes for Coast Surfers Matt Wilkinson and Adrian Buchan at the Fiji Pro today. Wilkinson narrowly went down against Miguel Pupo while Buchan defeated fellow Aussie Kieran Perro. After going down to Mick Fanning in the opening round, Matt Wilkinson jumped out of the blocks against Miguel Pupo. What a drop and what a nice pit. The Copacabana surfer consolidated the lead with another barrel. With 10 minutes remaining, Pupo made his move. Nice stall. Oh, with the hand stylish to right there. Set himself up. Wow. Perfect for that wave. Still stalling. The Brazilian closed the gap with an 8.93 before Wilco counterpunched. That was sick. That was the two goofy footers were going blow for blow before the 15th seed secured a berth in round three. Wow. Pupo claiming the win by just over a point in a cloud break classic. In an all Aussie matchup, Adrian Bucken trailed Kieran Perro early, but stormed to the front with an 8.17. While Perro called his caddy for a backup board, the ace had the line up to himself and seized the moment with his highest scoring ride. Gosh, what, what a perfectly ridden wave. There were some nervous moments with the Pipeline Masters champion showing why he's regarded as one of the finest tube riders on the planet. Can he punch That's through? It, yes. That's yes. it, guys. That's it, guys. That's it, my friend. Perro's 9.4 was too little too late, with Bucken surviving a late scare to advance to the next round and a showdown with Hawaiian young gun John John Florence. Luckily, no waves came through at the end, and it was a really fun heat for me, and you know, I managed to get a bunch of really fun waves. The event is likely to be put on hold, with an epic swell expected at the end of the week. Steve Allen, NBN News.